Duncan Scott, a guy who swam for Great Britain for a long time called Todd Cooper, who was a butterfly swimmer and held the British record for a long time, said to me a while ago, watch this kid, Duncan Scott, he is going to be special. And if you hear a former swimmer tell you that, you, you take notice. Now, I wasn't knocking Duncan Scott at all. I just thought maybe from what we've seen this week, maybe not quite the 100% Duncan Scott, maybe the 90% Duncan Scott. I think we've just seen the 105% Duncan Scott, quite frankly, because that is an astonishing swim. It's um, not the British record, which uh, stands to James Guy, but mighty close to it. Okay, and now on to other Brits swimming in the 200 meters individual medley. This is only the semi final, so Siobhan Mary O'Connor, Amy Wilmot, aiming to have a spot in the final tomorrow night. Colossa Tony goes in one for Italy. Czech Republic's over up Zavadova. Yakubos for Hungary. Siobhan Marie O'Connor, fastest time in the world this year. A British record from two years ago. I had to double check this. 2.06.88. Boy, that was quick. Uh, but that was 2016. Two years ago, her best time this year is uh, 2.09.80, which makes her the number one European still. Amy Wilmot, five. Anja Kreva of Serbia in six. Anastasia Gorbenko of Israel in seven. Pavlo Kuo of Greece in lane number eight. And she earned this spot in lane number eight because of the withdrawal of Yulia Yasimova, who showed up morning in the prelims, but skips the semi-finals. To say, were we right or were we right? <laughs> for that one. I think we pretty much guessed. We weren't quite sure why she was in it. And we pretty much knew she would pull out of it afterwards. And that's exactly what she did do. But so the Greek gets a chance to swim, which she wouldn't otherwise have done. But it should all be about the two Brits. And again, two Brits side by side. It won't phase Siobhan. Shouldn't phase Amy Wilmot, who uh, missed out fourth place in the 400 metres individual medley. Hannah Miley got the bronze and she just missed out. She'll be wanting to make a final. It's not her best event but she'll be wanting to make a final at least for a bit of retribution. Okay, so Siobhan takes it seriously from the start. She wants to lay down the marker for Katinka Hosu who will swim in lane number four in the next semi-final. Siobhan's not the kind of swimmer to play games. She gets on and does the business. And uh, 2773. Now on to what I think is her weakest leg, really, is the backstroke. When she gets abreast and when she gets to front crawl, everything looks good. The back is still working progress. Has been for a while. It's not bad, but it's just not maybe where she would like it to be in the optimum. And it will be in the final if they both get there, where obviously the, the number one all-time ranks will get the chance to maybe do it but uh, Siobhan is uh, okay you can see them coming back to her on the backstroke and I think now when she gets on to her front to the breaststroke she'll start to pull away Jakobos in second place Wilmot's third Graver in fourth place but she should now start to open up a bit of an advantage on the breaststroke and there was a decent backstroke I think by her actually the fastest in the field now look at that over the breaststroke she made the final in the 100 meter individual breaststroke and I think she's in mission now yeah she's going for us big time and uh, using all the skills that she has everybody else is doing okay on their breaststroke but she's doing exceptionally well on her breaststroke and she will get to the 150 mark in 113 18 13, and then Amy Wilmot will follow her in and third place Jakobos fourth is Carlotta Tony in lane number one uh, it's all about Siobhan Sh Marie O'Connor and what she can do in terms of the clock. Nobody else is going to catch it. I think she needs to put in a time under 2.10, or that is on her mind, to put in a time under 2.10 to put some pressure and put in the whole series. Well, the European record is just about to disappear, but 2.10 is not. She'll be there or thereabouts. 2.09.80, that's how there or thereabouts she is. Just missing underneath the right way by two tenths of a second. Jakobos getting second. Amy Wilmot may have done enough with a 2.13.09. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, but our winner, 2.09.80, is exactly at the same time that she did earlier in the year. So she equaled her best time in 2018. 
Let's not forget, Katinka Hosu swimming already the 100 back final and missing out on the medals by only three hundredths of a second. Yeah, she's the type of swimmer who, who swims five events in an hour, so she's not going to worry about that. She used to be that type of swimmer, but not anymore, I don't think so. It takes a while for all those fibers to disappear, though, doesn't it? If you're used to doing it, if you're used to swimming an event, getting a medal, going back and starting, getting a medal, going back and starting again. A bit like a conveyor, but a bit like you're at um, Heathrow Airport just waiting for your luggage to come around. Here comes another one. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, that's what she was like. I mean, I, I did commentary on the Mari Nostra, and I, she was in every race apart from the men's. And had she got a chance to do that, she'd be in there too. But you know what? She tried it once at uh, the Hungarian Nationals. 